Hey guys, working on a 2014-2015 Mitsubishi Mirage. We're changing the alternator, extremely detailed video, no shaky cameras, step by step. Let's get into it right away. And this is very easy, guys. Okay, step number one, disconnect the negative battery terminal. You have to have your power disconnected. Step number two, so here is your alternator. There's the engine super easy you're gonna unplug this plug you just push this little tab here and you unplug it uh, i'm gonna use both my hands you could use needle nose pliers to push it but you push this this just unplugs step number two grab some wd-40 right here spray this spray that and on this side Spray this. There might be a little plastic cover there, so you'll have to pull it off on this positive. Make sure the battery is disconnected before you start unscrewing that. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna unplug that. See you guys in a minute. Okay, so I got that plug unplugged. It was very easy. So now you need a 12 millimeter like this, just a wrench. See, and you can get on here like so, and you turn this, ready? Because it's hard to get a ratchet in here. So anyways, completely remove that nut right there, see? So I'm going to go ahead and off camera, I'm going to use my fingers or this, and I'm just going to unscrew it. See you guys in a minute. Okay, so I removed that. So now see, this just comes off. So when you put it up, back on, when you put your new alternator on, see all that rust? Uh, get a, some sandpaper and clean all that rust off. So it's nice bare metal clean. Um, I already mentioned that, so I'm not going to get back to that. But there shouldn't be any rust on it, so there's a good connection. Okay, moving on. All right. Okay, yeah, my light is out because I am changing the fender uh, due to an accident before I own the car. But anyways, you can get in here without uh, removing any of this. So now you grab a 12 mil right here. On top of the alternator and you're gonna completely remove that bolt nothing to it see you guys in a minute oh there we go okay so that's removed so now watch there's the engine so right over here look right underneath see right there that's a 14 mil so you need to remove that. See, it's directly underneath that one. Uh, the way you do that is you're going to need a deep 14. Throw it on a ratchet and you can get in there perfect. Let me set that up. Okay, see what I mean? Works perfect as long as you got a deep one. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove that bolt as well. Or nut, sorry. That nut and this nut. Okay, see you guys in a minute when both of those are removed. Yeah, see right there, guys. This is so easy. Anybody can do this, guys. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so I got both those nuts off. So now, see, this is an adjuster, this right here. This is what, like, tightens your belt and loosens it. These do rust sometimes, and they don't want to go. So I got some good old anti-seize. And before I even take it off, see, I put anti-seize on here. And he sees on this side of it because I want it to work properly when I put the new alternator on. Okay, we're going to throw a 12 millimeter on this and we're going to start loosening the belt. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so you just turn it this way, like this way. See, it's working. So now that will loosen the alternator. Sometimes the alternator is stuck a little bit just from rust like ours is. So I might have to push on it. There we go, see? We pushed back just enough to get the belt off. Well, we're gonna have to go a little bit more. So you keep going until the belt can come off. Okay, see what I mean? Okay, went a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more, pull the belt off. Also, 
you know, take a video, take a picture of how the belt goes. So you remember when you go to pull it off. Okay, I'll find that for you in this video, how the belt goes. I'll show it later. I'll just show you a diagram. Okay, so got the belt off. Just got it sitting on the side. So now you need a 14 mil. And see this, this here? So you got to loosen this bolt. See like that. Um, I'm going to try to take it out all the way. If it doesn't go, that's okay. We can just move this aside. But no, it'll come out. Okay, let me take this out. Okay, so there is enough room as you can see. So you're going to take that and this whole entire uh, bracket off. See, so just like that. Okay, moving on. Okay, so now gently push this forwards as far as it'll go, obviously without bending anything. See, and that gives you access to this bolt. So we got to get this bolt out. That's, that's the hard part. So there was a washer there and another washer. So we'll get these off. So I'm going to spray WD-40 all over this. And see on this side, it's like, it's like a square shape. So you don't need to hold this with a wrench when you're unscrewing this. But we're going to tap this with a hammer and try to push it out. If you're worried about your threads getting wrecked, you can put the nut back on just flush and then tap it. Okay, I'm actually going to do that. Okay, so this next part's important. So I put anti-seize all over it because... What you want to do is you want to screw this in and out a few times. You don't want it to be hard to screw in and hard to screw out. Because the second you hammer this out, what will happen is when you go to unscrew this, the whole thing's just going to spin, right? So I'm going to screw it in, screw it out, screw it in, screw it out until I can put it on with my fingers. And you want it on basically about that deep. You want it to be flush. So when you're tapping this with a hammer, you don't damage your threads. So there's no issues later. So, okay, I'll put it on, put it off. See you guys in a minute. Okay, see, that's how you want it. You want to be able to do that with your fingers, just like that. Okay, back it up. Okay, I'm going to try to get this, this bolt to slide out. I can't remember if I got to remove the block heater, which if you live in Florida or something, you're not going to have that. This is the plug-in that you plug your car in in the winter time and it warms up your engine so it starts when it's cold. That might be in the way. I'll get to that. Okay, I'm going to find a method to knock that out. I'll see you guys in a minute and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so, so you get in here like this. You just give it a couple taps. Oh, there it goes. That was easy. Okay, so now... I am going to remove this nut and we're going to try sliding that out. seems to be moving easy. Okay, guys. So there is a situation. Okay. If you live somewhere with no block heater, which is this thing here, you are in luck because you can just take this bolt right out. See, you got to let me get in here. See how there's like a flatter side. See, like watch. See that side's flatter. So you just turn it this way like so sorry if you can't see see and it'll slide right over top of that hose but the problem is see it's hitting that i've tried everything there's no way this bolt is coming out with this in here i don't want to take this out when a car is 15 years old stuff can break i would have to take this out the fluid would come out get a wrench on that screw that out i'm risking breaking it to me, that's not worth it. So what we're going to do, guys, is um, we're going to change the design of this. Don't worry, it's easy. So you might have to pull your light out so you have room. I got a little die grinder with a cutoff disc. And what we're going to do is we're going to get in here. Bzzz, we're going to cut this bolt. Uh, trust me, it's way easier to cut a bolt than it is to take off your thermostat get in there screw that out risk breaking it um and if you didn't have that you would just pull your bolt out and your alternator comes out but in my case i'm gonna get in here i'm gonna cut it 
spin it around a little bit, cut it some more until we cut the head off. And we're gonna change the design of this. We're just gonna put a bolt in this way with a nut on the other side. So that way in the future, we can remove the, the bolt this way. Okay, so off camera, I'm gonna cut that. I'll show you guys a little bit, but it's pretty straightforward. As you can see, there's tons of room. Okay, see you guys in five minutes or three minutes. All right, so I cut the bolt, see? And I got the alternator out, so pretty easy once you cut it, right? So I got it out, pulled the alternator out. So now we're going to put the new alternator in and it just in my uh, uh, bolt drawer. I just found this. It can just be a nut and bolt too, but this will work, right? So we'll slide that in and then we'll just use two wrenches tighten it pretty straightforward okay i'm gonna go put that in i'll show you guys what i mean okay so i got the alternator on so i mean it makes no difference right it all works the only difference now is you're gonna have to hold that with a wrench when you tighten it but there is enough room so basically we're gonna lift this up like so right we're gonna throw the belt on let me quickly uh show you a diagram of how the belt goes okay i'm just editing the video and for the life of me i cannot find the diagram of how this goes so i'll just show you i guess okay so it goes over the alternator it is easy then it goes underneath that wheel then it goes underneath that like this that is the uh compressor for the air conditioning right and then it goes all the way back, see, around that. And it just goes back to the alternator. So I apologize, I couldn't get the diagram. The car's almost finished, by the way, guys. It's been a few days. I got lots of videos. Check out the whole playlist on this car. Clean the interior like you would not believe. Fixed everything on it. Okay, getting back to the video. Okay, so now, I'm gonna throw the belt on, give me a minute. And I'm gonna put this thing back on. Pretty straightforward. Okay, see you guys when that and the belt is on. Okay, so the bottom bolt is basically finger tight. This one is finger tight. And this is finger tight. So now, it's gotta be finger tight. If you over tighten this, this, this adjuster won't work. So now you put this uh, 12 mil in here. And you're gonna turn that so that belt gets tight you want it pretty tight you don't want it too tight if it's squeaking it's too loose and if it's like rock hard then it's too tight obviously so you turn that you check it see that's way too loose okay i'm gonna tighten the belt i'll see you guys soon okay i think that's pretty good so you basically look I mean, I'm pushing hard. You should almost be able to twist it halfway, but not quite. Like I said, if it's squeaking, just put it a little bit tighter, a few more turns. Okay, so now you're gonna tighten this. You're gonna tighten this. And now that we modified it and changed the design of it, you're gonna put that little wrench in there, a stubby works, 14 mil or whatever size you have. Okay, see what I mean? So you can get it in there. There is enough room. And you're gonna hold it, right? And then on the other side, you're gonna use the ratchet, just like before, and tighten it. And that's how we change the design of it. And now it's gonna be easy to remove that bolt. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten all those. I'll see you guys in two minutes. All right, all the bolts are tight. Sometimes when you tighten all the bolts, the belt gets even tighter. So you almost have to kind of make up for that by making it a little bit too loose at first that does happen sometimes ours is good i'm happy with it okay so i plugged that in and i'm gonna hook this back up the only thing is look see what i mean i cleaned it to bare metal nice so i'm gonna throw that on there this alternator came with a new bolt so i'll tighten that and let's start the car and see if it works all right guys so i started it it is charging Tune into the next episode, guys. I will show you how to change your own motor oil on this. It's so easy. 
Why pay somebody else to do it? Till next time, everybody. Till next time.